Hello friends in this video tutorial we are going to learn one more topic on query data tables with PHP. In this tutorial we will get last 30 days or last 60 days or last 90 days data or last 180 days data based on selection from select box by using PHP script with Ajax. If suppose we have used data tables for display data in tabular format then in some case we want to get last particular day's data then this type of feature is not find query data tables. So at that time we want to write some extra code for low data according to last particular day's select from select box. In one of our previous tutorial we have already used select box for filter particular table column data but here we have used select box for fetch last particular data from MySQL database by using Ajax with PHP and load data under data table. Now let's start learning this topic. For example we have this testing database and under this we have one order table with table column like order id, order customer name, order item, order value and order date. In this table we have already inserted some data, so we will fetch this data from this table and display under data tables plugin in tabular format. After this we will filter this data forget last particular days. This is our index page and on this page first URL is for load query library, second URL is for load bootstrap style sheet library, third URL is for load query data table JavaScript library, fourth URL is for data tables bootstrap JavaScript library, fifth is for load data tables bootstrap style sheet, sixth URL is for load bootstrap data picker JavaScript library. This all URL is required for this video tutorial. First we want to display order table data on web page in table format. So we have defined one table with attribute it is equal to order data with four table heading like customer name, product name, order value and order date. We will load data under this table by using data table plugin. Above this table here we have defined select box with attribute name is equal to days filter, it is equal to days filter. Under this select box we have defined different days selection option like last 180, 90, 60 and 30 days. When we have select particular days then script will load last select days data into data tables table without refresh of web page. Now we have moved to write query code for initialize data tables plugin. Here first we have create load data function with is days argument. Under this argument we will pass selected days from days filter select box for load last selected data. If we have not defined this argument then it will load all data on web page and this function will initialize data tables plugin on order data table and it will load data under this order data table. Under this function we have write data table variable is equal to table it order data with data table method. This method will activate data table plugin on table with it order data. Under this method we have write first option processing set to true. This option will enable the display of a processing indicator when the table is being processed. In second option we have write server side set to true. This option will switch client side processing to server side processing. In third option we have write order set to blank array. This option will enable table column ordering. Lastly we have write Ajax option, by using this option we can send Ajax request to server and in this first we have write first option URL set to fetch.php. Here we have send requested to this page. In second option we have write type set to post method, here we have used post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data, here we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have write as days argument. 
This way we have set all option for low data under order data table by using data tables plugin. Now we have moved to write PHP code on fetch.php page and on this page first we have make database connection so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument like host name set to local lost, user name set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection now we have defined dollar columns variable. In this variable we will store table column name in array format. So here we have write column name like order customer name, order item, order value and order date in array format. Now we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from order table with where tag. This is simple query for fetch data from order table. We will append other in the dollar query variable. Below this we have write if statement and in condition we have write is set function with dollar post search value variable. Here this post search value variable has been passed by data table plugin when we have write something in search box and then it will execute if block. So under this block we have write dollar query variable and in this variable we have append query like table column order customer name like percentage dollar post search value variable percentage, same query we have write for all table column. This query will search data in all table column. After defining search condition we have again write if statement and in condition we have write set function with dollar post order variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block otherwise it will execute else block. Here when we have click on table for sort table column then this dollar post order variable has been passed by data tables query plugin for sort data according to particular column in ascending or descending order. Suppose dollar post order variable value is set then it will execute if block and under this we have write dollar query variable and in this variable we have append query like order by dollar columns variable with dollar post order zero column variable and dollar post order zero direction variable. Here first variable will return column number for sort and based on that number we have get table column name from dollar column variable and second variable will return sorting direction like ascending and descending. But suppose dollar post order variable value is not set then it will execute else block and under this block we have write dollar query variable and in this variable we have append query like order by order it in descending order. Now we have defined one dollar query one variable is equal to blank, in this variable we will store a query with fetch limit data. Then after we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one, this condition will check if dollar post length variable value is not equal to minus one then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we have write dollar query one variable is equal to limit dollar post start variable comma dollar post length variable. Here both variable has been post by data tables plugin by Ajax request. Here we have store query and two different variable. From dollar query variable we will get number of filtered data and from combination of both query we will make complete query for fetch data from order table. First we want to execute only dollar query variable query for get number of filter record. So we have write dollar number of filter row is equal to miscly num rows function and under this we have write miscly query function with dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. Here miscly query function execute dollar query variable and miscly num rows function return number of rows from query execution and store into dollar number of filter rows variable.
Now we want to execute complete query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable concatenate dollar query one variable. Here we have combined query of both variable and this misclick query function will execute combined query and store result in dollar result variable. Now we have write dollar data variable is equal to blank array. In this variable we will store dollar result data one by one. For fetch data from dollar result variable we have use while loop with condition like dollar row variable is equal to miscly fetch array function with dollar result variable. This function will convert dollar result data into array and store into dollar row variable. Under this while loop first we have create one dollar sub array variable is equal to blank array. In this variable we will store data get from dollar row variable. First we want to store order customer name column data, so we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row order customer name table column name. After this we want to store order item column data, so we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row order item table column name. Then after for store order value so we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row order value table column. And lastly we want to store order date data, so we have write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar row order date table column name. So here we have store data and dollar sub array variable now we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar sub array variable. So here we have store all sub array data and dollar data variable. Now we want to get total number of rows in order table. So we have create function get all data with dollar connect variable argument. This function will return number of rows in table. Under this function we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from order table. After this we want to execute the above query so we have write dollar result variable is equal to misclick query function with two argument like dollar connect variable and dollar query variable. This function will execute query and store result into dollar result variable. Now we want to get number of rows so we have write return statement with misclick num rows function with dollar result variable. This function will return number of rows from dollar result variable. Now we have write dollar output variable is equal to array and in this array we have write first key draw with value dollar post draw variable. In second key we have write records total and in value we have write get all data function with dollar connect variable. In third key we have write records filtered and in this key value we have write dollar number filter row variable in which we have store a number of filter rows. And in last key we have write data and in value we have write dollar data variable in which we have store order data in array format. So this way we have store all required data for make data table and dollar output variable. Now we want to send this data to fetch data function Ajax request in JSON format. So we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and in this function we have write dollar output variable. Now we have go to index page and here we have call load data function without any argument. This function will load product data on web page. Now we have check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been load in browser then it has load order data on web page in table format with data tables functionality like searching pagination, paging, display number of records per page and many more. Here we can see above data one select box with list of last 180, 90. 60 and 30 days. So when we have select any particular days then we want to get last selected days order data in this table on web page. Now we want to write query code for this things. 
So here when we have select any days then table data should be load according last selected days data. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method and under this we have write change event with select box a days filter. So when we have select any days then this code will execute. Under this first we want to get number of days. So we have write number of days variable is equal to dollar this with value method. This method will return selected days from select box and store into this number of days variable. Now we cannot directly load data in data table. First we want to destroy table then after we can load data. So for destroy we have write table and order data with data table method and with this method we have write destroy method. So this method will destroy table data. After destroying of data table now we want to load order data of last selected days. So first we want to check number of days variable has some value. So we have write of statement and under condition we have write number of days variable value is not equal to blank. If number of days variable is not blank then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have called load data function with is days argument. This function will load order data according to selected days. That means it will load last selected days data not all order table data. But suppose number of days variable value is blank then it will execute else block of code. So here we have not select any days that means we want to load all order data so we have directly called load data function without any argument. This function will load all order data. Now we have moved to write PHP code for load last selected days order data. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write is set function with dollar post is days variable pass from data table method. This condition will check if dollar post is days variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar query variable and in this variable we have append text like order date between current date function minus interval dollar post is days variable day and again current date function. Here this query will filter last dollar post is days variable value order data. In this query current date function return current date and from this date we have minus days which we have get from dollar post is days variable. So this way we have get start date before the days which we have get from dollar post is days variable and after this we have again write current date function which is on date. So by using between statement we can filter data between this two days and return last selected days order data. This way we have a pen query according to get last particular days filter and it will load last order data according to days selected. Now our code is ready so we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends first we have refreshed this page and now we can see order data on web page in tabular format. Now we want to last 30 days data, so we have select 30 days from select box. After selection of 30 days we have got last 30 days data on web page without refresh of web page. But now we want to get all data so we have select first option. After selecting first option we have got all order data on web page without refresh of web page. This way we can got last particular days order data according to selection from select box and after select particular days we have got last selected days data according to select box selection. This type of feature is very useful when you have large amount of data and you want to load last particular days data according days select from drop down list box then you can also done with this data table plugin. So this is our simple video tutorial on how to load last particular day's data and data table by using PHP script with Ajax query. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel.
Thanks for watching this video tutorial.